Hey. And my whole curtain rod just fell. Oh, gosh. I'm going to leave that in there because <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, this is supposed to be a, um, <laughs> this is supposed to be a um, freaking fall favorites video. Let me compose myself. Um, and so it is going to be in spite of that drama there. Um, fall favorites. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay. <laughs> the first one is my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. And this is an NC50. Okay. And this is the best concealer out there, I think. I have been using my um, Coastal Sense Concealer. And it's about 12 different shades of concealer that they use. It's really, really inexpensive. And great for starters if you're not sure about concealers, but you want a lot of variety. Um, and they have different shades and it's awesome. But I've hit pan on a lot of the shades that I was using like daily and everything. As far as concealer, I, I, I really don't think that there is a need for me to use a concealer. And I'm not being conceited or anything. I just don't think that there is a need other than I, I may have a few blemish spots. Or maybe if I want to just clean up. But mm. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. Anyway, this is really good. Um, I normally use this to highlight my the middle third of my face here and to do my eyebrows. I have not done my eyebrows today, so if you um, were to look at any of my previous videos or my eyebrows are a little bit more, you know, tame, it's because I, I line them and I fix them with this. Um, I don't know how much this costs. But I have had this a while and it has not hit pan yet and I'm still going strong. I was thinking maybe by the first of the year that I would buy another one just to have. Um, but I think I will last at least through mid-January. I'm not sure. Um, I've only started to use it under my eyes just to brighten my face. That's why I do the middle third to brighten my face and then my outer part of my face I use with my um, foundation which is a little bit darker. So go ahead and get some of that, okay? The next one that I have is a fingernail polish. And it's by Sinful Colors. And it is called Soulmate. Okay? It's called Soulmate and I have it here on my pinky finger. I have like small hands, so whatever. But <laughs> I got this from um, CVS, $1.99. I have a whole bunch of of um, sinful colors polishes and I know you're thinking well Elena that's pink it's fall isn't that like a summer color well here's the thing I wear this mostly on my toes I would not wear this and I wouldn't even say I would not you wear whatever you want to wear but if you wanted to do more darker tones and stuff in the fall I totally get it I wear this on my toes because I do like brighter colors on my toes um, and that's just my pre preference. So this is mostly for my toes and my hands. Um, because of where I work, we can't wear um, polishes. And don't worry, that's not my final stop on my career path. Um, where I work, we can't wear polishes. But um, I wear this on my toes. So go get you some sinful colors from CVS or your local drugstore, okay? The third one is a body lotion. And this is it here. It's called Coconut Mango, and I got it from Bath and Body Works. It was actually on sale, and so I'm not sure if it is something that they sell all the time. I haven't, I haven't gone into Bath and Body Works always to just buy um, room fragrances and stuff. I haven't been looking for any more lotions, um, but this smells amazing. I got hooked on the Coconut Mango bandwagon a couple years ago almost a couple years ago when I started going natural and um, I believe Karen's Body Beautiful she has a coconut mango scent and I have been hooked so um, go get you some if there's some there please go get you some okay I believe there is but anything coconut mango I'm a spokeswoman for okay um, last but not least there are two items which are the same um, and these are my brushes from e.l.f. This one right here, we'll start with this one, is a powder brush 
from e.l.f. and it looks like this okay looks like that and um, the fibers on it are really really good it is the softest feeling brush and I don't know about you but um, the way the brush feels matters to me um, I don't want anything that's scraping against my face um, that's you know making it feel like what the heck are you putting on your my face you know like I don't want any of that the bristles are very very dense um, the Prada it holds the product really really well you know these are only three dollars at Target um, this is like their studio collection because you know normally they would be like a dollar all their um, elf items but this is like a little bit like a step up and it is well worth the investment. I saw a lot of girls buying this one. And I was like, oh, I want that. And it's just like a want, you know. And um, I use this with my um, mineralized skin finish when I set my foundation. I set my foundation and then just a little bit. And, you know, you just buff it on. You guys know how to do all that. But this is an excellent purchase for $3. Okay. This brush is the blush brush, okay, and this was my very, very first e.l.f. kind of studio um, purchase, and as you can see, my brush is dirty, but it holds the, um, it, and I use it just for my blushes, and I only use one blush per brush, so this brush is assigned to love joy because I have several and so I feel like I can do that depending on the day or depending on whatever and it doesn't matter because when I wash them you know it all gets mixed up but just from the initial time I just use one brush one brush per brush something like that anyway this is it and it holds the powder very very well I mean you can still see powder on here but even if you didn't like it is the best and it's also, again soft on your face I have not seen on either one of these brushes I have not seen like bristles all over the place I don't feel like um, I don't know this is um, I believe this is a wood handle because some of my other dollar brushes this parts come off you guys know how to clean them and everything but this is a really these are really really good brushes I am in the process of building my kit and um, and trying out things um, I, I have as aspirations to um, do makeup and to you know just to do that you know and I don't know where I'm gonna go with that but um, these are very very good and inexpensive to put in your kit if you're just starting out with um, your journey. Okay.